Hey guys, today we are going to review the four different types of simple and compound interest problems. So these are the two formulas that will be given to you on your formula chart. Simple interest is I equals PRT and compound interest is A equals P times one plus R to the T. And we're gonna use those two formulas to solve different problems. So there's two types of simple, simple interest problems and two types of compound interest. Let's start with simple interest when you're finding the interest only. So we're always gonna start with the formula that's given to us on the formula chart, which is I equals PRT for simple interest. And then on this problem, we are finding interest only, so that's the only formula that I'm going to need. Let's go ahead and look at the problem. It says find the interest earned on a $1,000 deposit with a simple interest rate of 6% for four years. So I know the formula I'm gonna to use to find the simple interest is I equals PRT. The principal is 1,000 for that $1,000 deposit. I'm gonna do it over here actually. The principal is 1,000, the rate was 6%. which will be 0 0.06 when I convert it to a decimal. And then the time in years is four years. So I will just do I equals 1,000 times 0 0.06 times four to find the interest. So 1,000 times 0 0.06 times four is 240. So after four years, there would be $240 in interest. Okay, let's look at the next type of problem. So it's still simple interest, but this time we're gonna be finding the total amount. So we will start with the simple interest formula they give us on our formula chart, which is I equals PRT. And then to find the total amount, I'll have a second step. I'll have to add the principal back to that interest I just found. So let's go ahead and start by doing PRT. So I need the principal, which is 2,500. And then the rate is 7% and then for five years. So 7% is 0 0.07 and then for the time we will do five. So now I'm gonna do I equals PRT, so 2,500 times 0 0.07 times five to find the interest. So 2,500 times 0 0.07 times five is 875. And then to find the total amount, I will add the principal back to the interest and the principal was 2,500. So 875 plus 2,500 is 300 or 3,375. Okay, so that is simple interest, the two types of problems you will encounter. Now let's look at compound interest. Remember, we will be starting with this formula that's given to us on the formula chart. So the first thing we're gonna do is find compound interest, just the interest on a $3,000 deposit at an annual interest rate of 6% for four years. So I need A equals PRT. P times one plus R to the T, sorry. And then I'm finding the interest only. So to find the interest only, I'm going to take the total and subtract the principal from it. So let's start by just using the compound interest formula. I'll need P, R, and T. So the principal is 3,000. The rate is 6% or 0.06. And then the time was four years. Okay, so now I can plug into the compound interest formula. It'll be the principal 3000 times one plus the rate of 0 0.06 to the time of four. 3000 times one plus 0 0.06 to the fourth is 
3,787.43. And now I have an extra step here since they wanted me to find the interest here, I have to subtract out the principal from this total amount. So I'm gonna subtract out 3,000. And I get $787.43. Okay, let's look at this next one. That principal is supposed to be 4,500. I made a typo. So we're finding compound interest, the total amount. So this time I will just have to do the compound interest formula, which is P times one plus R to the T. And that will find A, the total amount. So we're gonna do the principal of 4,500. And then the rate is 0.07 for 7%. And then the time is five years. So now I can plug into the compound interest formula. It'll be 4,500 times one plus 0 0.07 to the fifth. So 4,500 times one plus 0 0.07 to the fifth tells me the total amount of six thousand three hundred eleven dollars and forty eight cents.